Ahoy there, Captain Rusty here. I'll be showing you new pirates everything you need to know on the seas. As soon as you start the game, you will find yourself in the most local tavern known to any pirate. Before you sail off, why not kick back and relax with your fellow pirates and share a pint of grog? Don't have too many though, otherwise you'll have Duke following you around watching your every move. But you can be a nice guy, so why not speak to him and find out what he's got in store for you? As you can see, he does have quite some good stuff in there, so do check it out. And once your pirate adventures have gone along far enough, you will earn some doubloons. If not, I have a video you can check in the link below. After a grog or two, why not take a trip down to the shops? You know, splash your couch a little bit. As you can see, we have the equipment shop. We also have a clothes shop. And we also do have a weapon shop for you pirates out there. You can also customize your ship too. So why not head down to the shop, select some nice sails or maybe some good cannons, and then go down to the chest and you can customize your ship. And as you can see, it looks beautiful. You can choose from three adventures, gold hoarders, all of the souls, and also the merchants. If you decide to do the gold hoarders, then come down to the little tent and you can get yourself a voyage, which allow you to get loads of treasure chests and some awesome loot. Visit Mystic Meg for your Order of the Souls voyages to get your schools. For those wanting to transport animals and fineries, come down to the docks to visit the merchant to get your merchant voyages. Quick tip, don't forget to search the outpost. You can find barrels that contain bananas, cannonballs and also planks which will help you on your voyage. Now you're ready to start your adventure that you have chosen. Place that voyage down on the table and begin your quest. When you're selecting the islands on the map to find out where you're going, you will notice they are in different sections. These are split up into the wilds, the ancient ones, Devil's Roar and so on. Do avoid the Devil's Roar as it can be quite challenging for you new beginners as there are active volcanoes. But as you can see, in the corner of the map there is a compass. This will help you guide and navigate. You've got north, east, south and west. This will tell you the direction you need to go. If you made it to this part of the video, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe to show your support to the channel. And also don't forget to check out that video on screen. Thanks for watching, Captain Rusty.